Hi, I'm Justin McKee at PFI Town, just north of Branson in Springfield, Missouri. And on our program, we're going to have an opportunity to visit with some of the most well-known horse trainers in the land. And they'll be sharing some of their favorite natural horsemanship techniques. We'll also have some of the legends of country music stop by, many of which make their home in Branson, Missouri. We'll visit with them and get the latest in the country music scene right here on this program. The Canner and Cook will be riding by, sharing some of their favorite Western recipes. And as always, we're at PFI, so you can count on seeing the absolute latest in the Western fashion industry. From boots and jeans and shirts and hats, you name it, we'll have it for you. So get your pen and paper ready, or log on to our website at PFIWestern.com. We're shopping Western style with PFI. Shopping Western style is brought to you by Ariat, Circle Y and Tucker Saddles, PFI, and PFIWestern.com. PFI Town is located in Springfield, Missouri, just north of Branson, in the heart of the Ozarks. Home of PFI, America's Western Store, with over 15,000 pair of boots, and Western fashion for the urban cowboy and the traditional Western shopper. Saddle City, with more than 500 saddles in stock, a horse lover's paradise, and Diamond Ridge Market, featuring more than 120 different cheeses, and over 400 varieties of international and domestic wines. Diamond Ridge Market, Saddle City, and PFI, all part of PFI Town. Stop by on your way to Branson or visit us at PFIWestern.com. We're excited to have a special guest here at PFI Town. Uh, Julie Goodnight is going to join us here. Julie, it's good to have you. It's great to be here. Julie's from uh, Salida, Colorado, and she is a clinician and horse trainer, and you've uh, been doing this for quite some time. I have, I have. I, I grew up in the horse industry, so uh, that's one, one lucky thing in my favor, and I've, I've been a full-time trainer and professional all my career. So, How long have you been using the natural horsemanship techniques? Well, you know, natural horsemanship, of course, is really nothing new. It's been around for thousands of years. It's just uh, come into popularity recently, but I, I've really been a natural horseman all my life, and I, uh, my true passion in this business is actually studying horse behavior. I'll, I'll never grow tired of learning more about horse behavior and watching horses and studying it. And so for me it was a natural progression into natural horsemanship because I love behavior so much. And that's really all natural horsemanship is. It's simply knowing and understanding the horse's natural behavior and then using that information to train him in a way that's understandable to him. Talking about behavior, what's some of the most misunderstood problems that people have when they when they are working with horses when they're not picking up on the natural behavior? I think a lot of it uh, is reading things into it that aren't there. A horse's mind is very, very simplistic. Uh, to a horse, it either is or it isn't. It either is going to kill you or it's not. And um, horses think much more simplistically than we do. And so I think the biggest trouble that people get into with horses is making things more complicated than it has to be. When, when you're out traveling the country, uh, what's, what's some of the most uh, surprising things that you see people are, are doing wrong? Maybe people can relate to that. Uh, well, you know, I, uh, boy, I don't know if we've That's got enough time point. to cover all that. But uh, I travel around the country. Um, I travel about 40, 45 weeks a year doing expos and clinics um, from coast to coast. I go into Canada quite a bit. And, um, w w the main thing I've discovered is that wherever I go, horses and people are pretty much the same. Mm. Um, the horses are the same, the people are making the same mistakes, but uh, by and large uh, what it boils down to is that horse problems are almost always human induced. Right, right. But now you do have some gear that, that you like to use in your techniques, some of your favorite items I see that you... you know, I do and I, and I brought some with me and primarily in this business I'm an educator and I uh, travel around educating more uh, people more about their horses and also one thing that differentiates me from some of the other natural horsemanship clinicians is um, my forte is really improving people's riding and although we talk a lot about uh, the horse and the training and his behavior uh, at the end of the day, the horse can only ri rise to the level of the rider. So I have my videos on um, improving your riding skill, mm -hmm. starting with the most fundamental and progressing towards uh, pretty advanced stuff. I also have some videos on horse behavior and relationship building with the horse, training him better on the ground. 
And then uh, some of my best products also have to do with building confidence with horses and coping with a fear of horses, and that's pretty prevalent in the business today. Your background is, is really varied. You come from a wide spectrum of different, different disciplines. Yes, I have, and I think that's uh, given me a big leg up in this industry. I, I grew up on a quarter horse farm, but I got into riding English very early, and my father recognized my passion and allowed me to pursue it. So I rode on the hunter jumper circuit on the East Coast as a youth competitor. Um, after that, I never wanted to see another horse show again, so I went and rode on the racetrack for four or five years, which was a blast, and I got a whole new education there. And um, I've done a lot of wilderness riding after moving to the mountains. And then um, now my personal focus is on Western performance. My husband and I show versatile ranch horses, and we um, participate in all those disciplines, do a little range cow horse and, and that sort of thing. So uh, my varied background is really what's allowed me to become a, an effective teacher. Well, thank you, Julie. It's been a pleasure having you on the show today. Best of luck to you. And um, again, that's juliegoodnight.com or as always, pfiwestern.com, where you can find more information on Julie and everything else Western. We're here at PFI Town in the Ariad Room, and we're going to take this opportunity now to show you something I think a lot of you folks at home are going to enjoy. But let me, let me explain what exactly is going to go on. We're going to highlight some of the industry's latest and greatest boots, apparel, saddles, and tack along with home decor. We're going to provide you with the style numbers of the featured items right here on your TV screen. So you can go directly to our website at pfiwestern.com or call the 800 number at the bottom of your screen. Let's get started talking about our featured item of the week this week. And Paul is going to take us through it here in the Ariat room. And I guess we're going to go with uh, Ariat boots here this week. That's right. We're highlighting Ariat boots this week. And because it is the great Ariat PFI cashback rebate. But you know what? I'm going to come back to that in just a little bit. Right now, we're going to highlight some of the product. Tell us about the features. Well, I tell you what. First of all, patent leather. Patent leather's back this fall with a big splash. You're seeing it in ladies' handbags, ladies' uh, belts. So consequently, Ariat put it into their footwear. Shiny patent leather for the show ring or the dance floor, either one. And of course, they're ultra comfortable fat baby which now has a new improved sole that will fit in the stirrup and easy in, easy out. Uh, Ariat is known for their cushion insoles, their EVA blown rubber outsoles, which is very, very com comfortable. Uh, if I can get this insole out of here, I'll show you. This is the ATS 4LR construction for comfort. So we have, first of all, we have the black patent and then we have the pink patent. The black has the black top, with light blue thread and yellow threads going through the shaft with a little design uh, around the saddle vamp. Secondly, we have the pink patent leather with the brown shaft. So either one, girls, you can't go wrong. All right, Paul, let's talk about the rebate. Now, from what I understand, these boots are on sale for $99. That's but right. That's they're even right. cheaper with the rebate. Hey, Justin, here's how the rebate works. You spend $99, you get $20 cash back. You spend $149, you get $40 cash back. You spend $249, you get $60 cash back. And you can use the rebate in our store, online, or at the 800 number at the bottom of the screen. So anytime you buy any Ariat boot at PFI, you get the great Ariat PFI cash back rebate. The more you spend, the more you save. That's the way it works. That's the great American way. That's right. <laughs> Gotta love it. Without a doubt, PFI is the most innovative Western store in the world today. They love innovative product, they love the latest trends, they demand the best performing product and the best value for the customer. And I really think that's why we're such a good fit with our friends at PFI. We really love to make the most innovative product. We're constantly pushing ourselves to do, um, offer new technologies, um, offer new innovations to the customer. And I think that's why you see such a great assortment of area products in the PFI stores. Paul, tell us about the Ariat boots that we have up here now. Well, now, Justin, we're featuring the Ariat Gym Babies. These new Ariat Gym Babies just came in, hot off the presses, so to speak. You got three fabulous new colors, a couple of earth tones and a pink. Once again, this pearlized pink, you know, last holiday season, women were wanting pink. We got it back now, and we got more to come yet. So with the pink, you have the denim accents into the shaft 
with the eyelets and the grommets and then the pink stones get a little bling going to the shaft there. Second one is kind of a taupe pearlized lizard print. Also with the denim look at the top with a tan shaft and stones to match. Once again has the eyelets to match as well. The third one is more of a bronze metallic pearlized kind of a tan peanut color with a burnt orange top, little tan uh, denim-like uh, material here with the grommets and the shaft as well as the amber stones. So you got the stones that give you a little bling, you got the grommets that add a little fashion to it, and then what more could you ask for with those three fashion colors? They're great. Well, it sounds good for everybody, looks like to me. There you go, comfortable in Ariots. Hey, this is Rodeo Rod. We're here at the Missouri State Fair, and uh, we've got Tracy Lawrence and Couser tonight. We're going to go inside his bus here for a little Rodeo Rod interviews to ground. Voted best show and best band in Branson. Liverpool Legends. Handpicked by George Harrison's sister for the ultimate Beatles experience. See and hear what changed our lives. Liverpool Legends at the Starlight Theater. Get tickets at 417-337-9333 or at liverpoollegends.com. Shopping Western Style is brought to you by Ariat, Circle Y and Tucker Saddles, PFI, and PFIWestern.com. We're shopping Western style here at PFI. We're in the Ariat room, and of course, we're going to feature Ariat again here as we talk about the Great American PFI Ariat rebate that's going on right now. Before we tell you what these are going to cost, let's talk about the features of this brand new item from Ariat. That's right. What we have here is Ariat Heritage Horseman. Men's boots. Men's boots, that's <laughs> right. And that rebate counts in men's boots as well, that's for sure. Well, this is a new product by Ariat, just hitting the stores now. What it does is it features the uh, double stitch welt, which is definitely after the horseman's interest. Has the Duratread outsole, which is barnyard acid resistant, so that manure is not going to eat it up too quick. It's going to last a little bit longer. All three of these boots feature an oil tan foot, which also will help with the weather. So if you're working or you're playing, or and we both know you like to play a lot, I, Justin. I do like to play. I want to <laughs> talk about, about that? that insole. How about that insole? You're going to get a lot of support. ATS, Advanced Torque Stability. What that means is that Ariad has a forked shank, which goes up into the forefoot, which creates much more stability in the stirrup and on the ground. Consequently, you put that on top of it, and you got that all-day cushion. Once again, if you're playing or you're riding or you're working, you're going to be comfortable all day long in one of these Ariat boots. All right, Paul, let's get to the good stuff. Talked about the Great American PFI Ariat rebate. What are these boots actually going to cost people? Well, I tell you what, right now they're on sale for $149. Guess what? $40 cash back. What's that make it? $109. $109 for that boot. That's a good looking boot at a great price. That's why it's the Great Ariat PFI rebate, cash back rebate. That's a good deal. Check them out at pfiwestern.com. Call the 800 number. Get them while you can. These things are hot. Julie Goodnight. Josh from PFI Saddle City. Josh, it's good to meet you. Nice Boy, to meet uh, you. Really impressed with the selection of saddles you have here. I was even able to find uh, my favorite saddle. This is actually the saddle I ride in. Yeah, yeah. Tell us what you like about this saddle, Julie. Well, uh, this is the Flex 2 Rainer made by Circle Y. And um, I do a lot of western performance and reining and rain cow horse and stuff, so I like uh, the style of a reining saddle to begin with. But the Flex Tree is just a wonderful invention. Uh, one of the really great things about it is it's so lightweight. And uh, although I'm pretty strong for someone my age, to huck a big heavy saddle up on a big horse is, is kind of tough. So I love the lightweight uh, feature of this saddle. And also that flexible tree really conforms to the horse's back. And as you sit down in the saddle, that tree uh, will collapse just a little bit and take the shape of the horse's back. My horse is a little bit tough in saddle fit, um, so I really get a nice close contact feel with the saddle, which I really love. That's really nice too because it allows you to fit a broader variety of horses. It does, and I, my saddles go on any number of horses. I take it with me on the road and throw it up on anything, and sure. it really gives me a good fit. So. I love uh, also how comfortable it is right out of the box. Yeah. 
I'm not sure what what makes it that way, but. Circle Y invented a process they call their softy leather package. Um, it allows it to have that buttery soft feel in the seat jockeys and fenders straight out of the box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I really noticed that. I actually got uh, two new saddles at the same time, and one was a rigid tree saddle, and this one uh, just comfortable from the first ride. Yeah. And also, I think, uh, if, I don't know if it's the soft leather or the flex tree or the combination, it really puts you close to the horse, put your leg in the right place. Extremely close contact. They also have a neoprene lined skirt, which helps reduce that shock and concussion delivered from the saddle tree to your horse's back. Mm -hmm. That's great. Well, this is a great saddle. Uh, I see you've got just literally hundreds of saddles here. We stock 500 saddles. Wow. So you've got something for everybody, every style of riding. You bet every shape of rider. You bet. That's great. I also think it's really important when you are shopping for a saddle to have some expert advice. It seems like you really know a lot about these saddles. and We try and have the most informed staff available. Mm -hmm. We really go to extra lengths to really incorporate our people into the whole process so they're highly educated and can give you expert advice because basically everybody here rides. Well, that's really important because choosing a saddle can be a little overwhelming for people. There's literally thousands of, of brands out there. So to have somebody that can ask you the right questions and give you the good information, um, I think is really important because it's not something you want to make a mistake in and buy the wrong saddle. Sure. What if you do buy a saddle here and you get home and it doesn't fit? Well, that's the beauty of, of our company is we guarantee every saddle we sell. If you get it home, it doesn't fit you, it doesn't fit your horse, you're able to return it, no restocking fee, you just have to wow. pay the freight back. Well, that's an awesome uh, trait because uh, it's a big ticket item and we want to it make is. sure it's right. You bet. Is that all you got? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what we have. I'll tell you what we've got. It's time for the cannery cook and uh, Julie Goodnight is going to join us for this segment. And it looks like you made your way to the Diamond Ridge Market and you uh, got put right to work, didn't you? Or I did. could you just not resist yourself? I couldn't resist. I'll tell you one thing I love about PFI Western is they got hundreds of saddles sitting right next to hundreds of bottles of wine and cheeses and, and great gourmet food. So, um, and I love to cook. Do you, do you really? I do. You I, like to cook as much as you like to ride horses? Well, it's a close second, let's just say. But, Good you know, combination, though. It is. It is. It works for most men, anyway. <laughs> but Good. I don't have a lot of time to cook, so I like these things that are easy and um, quick to prepare. And, and that's what I picked for today is that one of my favorite dips is this Fiesta Ranchero dip mix. And it's so easy to make. You just, um, all you really have to do is combine a few ingredients. So I like a little crunch and color in my mix, so I'm going to chop up some red and green peppers here and then um, it's a real simple process I'm just gonna mix a cup of sour cream with a cup of mayonnaise it's nice hardly any calories in this at all I can imagine. and um, we're gonna add some chopped green pepper a little red pepper and then I like how you know you just automatically went from you know chopping into little sections to boom they're diced yeah. like that yeah that's the magic you gotta television. be quick on TV and so then we have this prepared um, spices and, and the ranch mix that comes. And this is a real, uh, I guess we better put that in there. Um, this is a, a real affordable little mix. You know, I, I like to entertain and um, sit back out on the porch and have a little hors d'oeuvres before um, dinner. So we're just going to mix this stuff up, put it in the fridge, let it chill just a little bit to enhance the flavors. And then um, we chose a bottle of wine here. This is a PFI label. It's called Front Porch Wine. It's a real tangy, sweet little wine. We like to drink it on the back porch more than the front porch. You know what I like about all the products that they have here is that they're convenient. I mean, you can throw all this stuff in your saddlebag. You trail riders out there, you can take your dip and just a small amount of vegetables and out on the trail, you're ready yeah. to go. And, Absolutely. And uh, this looks pretty good. How's it taste? Mm, tastes pretty good too. All right. Those chipotle crackers, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Got a and little the, kick uh, to it. Fiesta Ranchero dip. And there's all kinds of dip mixes available here at, at uh, Diamond Ridge Market. For more recipes, more ideas, and all the products, go to pfiwestern.com. Find out more. 
Hey, this is Rodeo Rod, and we're coming to you from the Missouri State Fair, and we're sitting on the bus here with Tracy Lawrence. Hey, hey, Tracy. How are you, Rod? Good to see you, my friend. Good seeing you. It's been it's been years. How long have you been doing this? Oh, 19, 20 years, man. A long time. Yeah, since we were kids. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming to Springfield, Missouri, September the 20th, for the Party in the Parking Lot. Looking forward to it. We were actually there a couple of years ago, so it's going to be good to come back and uh, play some of our new stuff for all the fans. It's going to be a good time. Now, you got a new single right now that's getting ready to pop. I do. A, a song called You Can't Hide redneck which will be the last single off the current album that's out right now so uh something that i think all the uh the country folk can appreciate yeah now how many hits have you had oh man i think i've had like 18 number one records and several top tens a few top fives it's, it's been a good run now uh i'm sitting next to a legend i don't know if you knew that or not but you're considered a legend i don't know about all that <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like a legend? No, you know, this time of year, I, I feel a little wore out. You know, after the fair and festival season, you just want to take a little time off. You know, it kind of, the grind gets to you a little bit. But, you know, I, I, I know I've been doing it a long time, but I still enjoy it a lot. I still enjoy being on the road and enjoy meeting the fans and, and enjoy being on the stage. I, I feel like uh, may, maybe even more so now than I ever have. Now, what's the one song that the fans come to you and say, Tracy, that song just rocks my world? You know, probably uh, Time Marches On will be that song. You know, I get uh, so many request for it. It's been a huge corner piece in my career. Now, I like your hat. What kind of hat is that? Charlie One Horse. Got a brand new signature line coming out. They're going to introduce it at Western Apparel's Market uh, in January out in Denver. Uh, we are... Um getting ready to actually start working on the felt model so uh, this will uh, hopefully be out in all the western stores for next year. I, I think it's going to be a PFI. I think so, absolutely. Well, good hooking up with you and uh, congratulations on, on all the success that's been going on. I mean, it's, it's hard out there on the road. It is. It's tough and the competition's getting more and more all the time, but uh, you know, uh, things have been real good. I can't complain. Hey, check out Tracy Lawrence. You can find out more information on him and the PFI parking lot party at PFIWestern.com. Hi, Julie. Welcome to PFI. Well, thank you. Hey, Janelle, every time I go into a big Western store like PFI, I'm a little bit overwhelmed by all the different jeans that are available. So maybe you can give me a little crash course in what to look for in jeans. I can. We like to have lots of jeans because there's lots of different women's figures that you need to fit. Um, this is our new Wrangler cash jean. It's called the Ultimate Riding Jean. It's got several features that haven't been noted before. They've got flat seams so that it doesn't rub you when you're riding in the Boy, saddle. Boy, is that really important. It, it can be uncomfortable. My skin's really sensitive, so it's, I get saddle sores very easily, so that inside seam on the jeans is real critical for me. And it has a, a contour waistband, and that keeps it from gapping when you're riding. You know how they want to come down. Low rise don't work at all. No, as far your, as... your uh, shirt tends to come untucked, and you get that little gap in the back. Pine needles go down there <laughs> for trail riding. So. And then it's got a, a vented uh, hem down here in the leg, which will mm -hmm. keep it down on the on your leg in the saddle. It doesn't want to ride up as uh -huh. much. and gives you a little bit more room to go over the boots. Yeah, that's really nice. I, I, I noticed that feature in these jeans. And when I, uh, I select, most people buy sandal length and, and boot length <laughs> jeans. I buy riding length and boot length. And um, so my riding jeans are about two inches longer than, than I normally right. wear my jeans so that my pants don't ride up when I'm in the saddle. And I notice with these, that vent, when you're wearing your jeans extra long, really makes a nice look as it lays over the boot. Lays over the boot much better. Mm -hmm. Now this is our Aura jean. Uh, several different colors in this one. Stretch, which is a really good thing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's a wonderful invention in jeans. <laughs> there's, there's several different rises, so that's mm -hmm. going to uh, vary with the, uh, different women and different lengths. So between the, the rise and the length, and then the sizes, you can fit almost everybody in this jean. So if you find a style you like, then you look for the rise that's appropriate mm -hmm. to your body shape and the length and all of that. Exactly. Nice, very then, nice. Then we've got our other jean over here, and this is one of our premium patch Wrangler jeans. Uh-huh. It's also in a stretch, it's got spandex in it, which seems to fit real well. Yeah. And, and it's a low rise. Yes, it is. I actually have a pair of these, and I just love them. This is. Uh, these are my dancing jeans. Uh, I, don't, I don't wear them too much for riding because they're very low rise. Uh, but I do love to wear them going out. They're very stylish, hip looking. Very figure fl and flattering. And a uh, little bit of stretch makes a difference when you're wearing low rise stretch and is great. tight jeans. So yeah, these are great, very wherever, stylish. Wherever it can give a little bit, that's a, mm -hmm. a great thing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, stretch jeans. And I, I ride a lot in the Aura jeans as well. And, uh, boy, when you're getting up on a big horse, those stretch so jeans really make a difference. <laughs> so
So I bet we can fit you in something over here. I okay. bet we can find you several pair to wear. Well, I'm sure. So I need a sandal length, I need a boot length, and I need a riding length. And a riding length. Pair. That sounds good. All right, great. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Hi, I'm Randy Little. This is my dog Scooter. Thanks for shopping Western Style at PFI on the way to Branson. And I'm not kidding. I can't follow that. <laughs> that was great though. You can't say it on air. This face is Hi, I'm Randy Little, and this is my dog Scooter. Thanks for shopping Western Style on the PFI on the way to Brent's Scooter Kitty. Okay, I don't like dog lips. Next time on Shopping Western Style. Man, when I smell good food, I drop in and help myself. <laughs> I'm so telling you. He foamed his nose to PFI. Down. That's right. Shopping Western Style has been brought to you by Area. Circa Y and Tucker Saddles, PFI, and PFIWestern.com. For more details on the products seen on today's show, go to PFIWestern.com.